Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Have I told you lately that I'm on TikTok? I have. I know I have. Uh, I, and I, I've said it a lot, I know. I, sometimes I repeat myself, I'm sorry. But what's really interesting about being on TikTok is it's a totally different audience. Uh, the people who watch me on TikTok, they are not magicians, nor are they people who are looking for magic reviews. They just want to be entertained. And then there's some, you know, people that are like, I know how you did that. So there, there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of critics out on TikTok, lots of critics on TikTok, lots of people that want to tell you how something was done. Um, uh, you've seen some of the shorts that I've done on YouTube, and I do a lot of gimmicky stuff because I'm trying to do something eye-catching and I only have 60 seconds, right? And I don't have a spectator, so I'm trying to do something that's just fun and just, you know, like I said, eye-catching, something that'll get, grab your attention. And I've had a couple of critics say, you know, you're, you're doing all this uh, old stuff. You're doing classics. Like, magic should be new and it should push the envelope always. And I don't know, I think I kind of take issue with that. I, I think for one, being an older, person myself right because I ain't young I am not young I am I am in my mid 50s all right so I've been around but uh, I love the classics just like I would say uh, it's not all about new movies coming out I love I love classic movies I love classic books uh, I love comfort food you know I, I don't need new and exciting all the time and I think without the classics, in magic, we wouldn't even have new. Everything new we have on ma in magic is built on something old. So if you see the you know four color dice box prediction, it's been around forever. Someone re-releases it. I mean, kudos, right? Because we're keeping the classics alive, a and that's how I learned magic. I didn't learn magic from a bunch of new tricks. I, I learned it from books. So, and, you know, you know, David Copperfield says this in his new book, we, we all stand on the shoulders of giants, okay? So, for as much as I love new stuff too, I love new stuff. I like to see what's exciting uh, uh, and fresh, of course. But I'm, you're never going to hear me criticize the things that have come before, right? We, we wouldn't be anywhere without... Uh, Thurston and Houdini and Keller, right? We, we wouldn't be anywhere without those people. And, and so certainly other people like Doug Henning, right? David Copperfield, the people that were on television that inspired us when we were young. We need all that too. We, we should never uh, tear apart our history while we also try to encourage us to move forward and, and make new things because we can't make new things unless we know magic history. Why did I go off on this crazy tirade? Uh, <laughs> because uh, the trick I'm reviewing today is called Will Our Minds Merge? And it's from Neo Magic and Vinny Sagu. And Vinny, right at the beginning of this, says this trick is inspired by Will the Cards Match, which is a trick from Howard Adams, came out in 1982, and was popularized later by many other magicians. So um, again, even though this is a new trick, and Vinny has taken it to the next level. He's added something to it, given it a really cool kicker. Uh, it, it, we need those tricks because they inspire us and they help us create new. All right, so what is Will Our Minds Merge or Will The Cards Match? Um, titles sound the same because you kind of need the amount of letters that are in the titles to make it work. Um, will The Cards Match, same as will, the, will Our Minds Merge, is a spell to matching effect. So you have two piles usually, and you give the spectator all the choices. They can move one card from the top to the bottom, and they can do either pile. And at the end of every word, will our minds match? You take the pair that were at the top and you put them together. And then at the end of the effect, you see that even though the spectator made all the choices, you turn the cards over and the colors match. But what's interesting about this is Vinny has added another level to the effect 
and there's a card, a prediction card on the table, you flip that over and there's a second level, there's a second layer of matching. So what's in the box? It's a pack a trick, right? It's a pack a trick, you're only getting cards uh, and you're getting the download video, which is eight minutes long and you can get this all for $13 at Neo Magic. Um, and right now, I think, let me just add this as an aside, I don't know how long he'll run this, but I know right now, if you buy uh, his pack of tricks, you buy more than one, uh, he gives you a deal on them. So you can buy the $13 pack of tricks. And if you buy, I think three, there's an extra incentive. So you might want to check those out. Is it what I thought? Well, yes, it is what I thought. Uh, and it's what you think too. If you've ever seen that effect where you have two piles and the spectator says, I'm going to move one down from this pile and two down from this pile, then I'm going to go back to this pile and move one. It's that same effect, right? Of course. Um, is it well made? They're bicycle cards. United States playing card company cards. So there's, and they're, they're not gaffed. So can they be inspected? Absolutely. There's no gaffes. There's no gimmicks. There's no trap doors. Everything is legit. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Like I said, it's only eight minutes. It's all an overhead shot. It's a single table shot and Vinny narrates everything. As far as what he's gonna teach you, really, I mean, it's eight minutes. So you're gonna, he talks about what you get, how to set it up, how to do a false shuffle at the beginning. If you wanna convince your spectators that there's no funny business. And then he just walks you through how the trick works. Pocket space, it's a packet trick, right? It's a packet trick. It's easily gonna fit in one of those 99 cent, uh, vinyl envelopes that you stick packet tricks in and you're off to the races. How are the angles? You know, I was thinking about this. Um, sometimes in these effects, you let the spectator move the cards. In this one, I would do the moving for them. And, and the only reason is because the back design color, you don't show the spectator. And so that's one of the endings is that now you can see as you've grouped them together, all the colors on the backs match. There's two reds, two blues, two pinks, two yellows, two greens, right? I wouldn't want them to accidentally flash. Sure, I could hand the cards to the spectator and I could give them their pile and have my, my pile and maybe want to do it that way, but I've seen spectators handle cards sometimes <laughs> and for some reason uh, they get butter fingers and they drop one to the ground, you know? Or when they're shuffling, they accidentally don't move one from the top to the bottom, they move one from the top to the middle and then as soon as they do that, it's screwed up. So I would prefer to do the shuffling for them so that the backs don't accidentally get flashed. How much practice does it require? It's self-working, self-working. No moves, no funny business. You don't even have to remember the phrase, will our minds merge? You don't even have to remember the phrase because that's written on the prediction card. So yeah, self-working. And setup and reset is easy too, because really once you flip the cards over and you see all the colors, the colors tell you how to restack the cards for the next performance. Positives um, is a great adaptation of the Howard Adams effect. If you've ever done that before or you, you do one now, uh, I think Vinny's additions to it really kick it up almost two notches and um, certainly make it fun uh, to watch. And so I think it's a fun little pack of trick negatives. I think the only negative I could see would to this would be if, well, one, like I said earlier, if the spectators flash the back accidentally, and then you've kind of blown that reveal. Um, but if the spectators get lost through this and they don't understand why this was a magic trick, right? You, you want them to be surprised when the backs match, and then you want them to be and then you want them to understand the second reveal. I'm not really going to tell you the second reveal because I don't want to give too much away, but you want them to understand it when it happens and why that's, um, why that's magical. Okay. And I think that's all going to come through with your pattern. If you rush this, I don't think the spectators will follow it as well. You're going to need to work on your story so that they understand that hey, you made all the choices and the back colors match. Hey, you made all the choices and here's the second reveal, right? They, helping them to see, I think is helpful. Yeah. Is it worth your money? It's $13, 13 bucks. $13 for a packet trick and you're getting all the cards and the instructions, I think. Yeah, this is, this is what a packet trick costs, you know? Downloads can cost this much and you're getting the cards that go with this. Plus the cards are unique because they all have different colored backs. And then the prediction card is unique too. That's all printed for you. So absolutely worth your money. All right, that's everything I can say about Will Our Minds Merge from Neo Magic and Vinny Sagu. I wanna thank Vinny for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, I'll stick a link below in the description. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. 
Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.